What's up, what's up everybody? It's your boy Big O back in the building with yet another brand new video. Just want to take a second to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in. I hope all of you are having a glorious day. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about what it is that I'm going to be feeding to my narrow bridge musk turtle and my uh, Chiapas giant Mexican musk. Uh, their care is, is very similar, almost identical I would say. Uh, and um, they'll be, they'll both be getting the exact, the exact same diet. And I'm gonna just be taking the time to put that together right now for you. So let's get right into it. As you see here, we got this box that is in horrendous condition. So I opened it up because when I saw the condition of the box, I had to get inside of it right away to make sure everything's okay. Because on the outside, it looked like a nightmare. Luckily, everything is okay. And what we have inside of this box is two pounds of Missouri, uh, crocodile pellets and one of these bags has a hole but that's not really a big deal um yes this is uh formulated for uh baby gators and crocs and things like that but for a carnivorous turtle especially one that gets a little bit of size to them because i don't know if you can tell from this sitting in my hand but uh it's bigger than most turtle pellets you're gonna find out there at least twice as big um, so if you have something that gets a little bit bigger and who has you know uh, carnivorous needs in their diet this this diet this uh these pellets are perfect um, again these are the Missouri crocodile pellets I got these from uh, backwaterreptiles.com because it's the only place I could find that you can get smaller quantities uh, there are ways to get really large quantities, but right about now, uh, I didn't really feel like getting into that. Maybe next time I will, but um, for now I'm going to go with, uh, with just a couple of pounds. So this, as far as the pelleted part of their diets are concerned, is probably, well not probably, it's definitely the bulk of it. Um, it's very high in protein, about 47%. Um, you know, quality ingredients provides it's it's nutrient dense. So, you know, I highly recommend this if you have something like, you know, a narrow bridge musk or a snapping turtle, or really, you know, most of the uh, South American side necks that have, you know, carnivorous dietary uh, requirements. A lot of the Indo Australian side necks, uh, you know, like most of the well known snake neck turtles. The uh, New Guinea snappers, the uh, the, the pink belly side necks, uh, you know turtles like that. It definitely African side necks, really any species of African side neck that you find. Uh, uh, soft shell turtles, really any species that requires a good bit of protein in their diet, I would definitely recommend this is uh, be the main source of that. Uh, like I said, especially if they get a, a good deal a good deal of size to them. And um, what I'll do is, uh, I'm gonna take these pellets and add in a bag of the Hakari Koi Gold formula. It's the more, it's uh, I guess the more protein rich of their, of their Koi formulas, you can say. This one says it's at 35%, um, which is not bad. And it's also good to add a little variety to the diet. Um, I'll be mixing these two together and feeding uh, that on the same day. And what I'm gonna supplement these pellets with is this uh, product here by Omega One. It's the Omega One Koi Sticks. I'm adding this to the diet for really the, uh, mostly the wheat germ and the spirulina, but you know, it, it really has a very good uh, list of ingredients in general. And that's something that I really like about Omega One. They always really seem to have, if you just compare ingredient to ingredient, um, they always have a, a lot of whole fish and in, 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 in whole seafood in a lot of their diets. And I really like that. Because if you know, you're a carnivorous aquatic animal, 
whole salmon, whole herring, and whole shrimp seem like things that you'd probably be very interested in eating. So I, uh, I really recommend Omega One products just for that fact. But um, what I'd probably do is, like I said, I'm gonna mix these two here and I'll probably feed that maybe once or twice a week at least. And this, they'll get it about once a week. And that way, you know, they're getting all their protein, the vitamin A, E, uh, the, uh, you know, the vitamin D, of course, D3. Um, and, you know, obviously they have their UVB bulbs. They have all of their, uh, the, the live foods that I give them. They get grasshoppers and roaches and crickets and fish, worms, you know, pieces of, uh, like cut fish. I give them chunks of uh, beef heart and uh, chicken liver and chicken hearts and all sorts of things. So they're really good to go. But uh, in regard to uh, the pellets, like I said, this diet would, I would highly recommend this for any uh, carnivorous turtle. Again, your snapping turtles, your African side necks, your soft shells. Um, most side necks tend to lean to a very carnivorous diet. So generally speaking, most side necks. And, um, you know, your diamondback terrapins, uh, your uh, chicken turtles. Um, the list goes on and on. But uh, these are just my personal recommendations. This is what I'm gonna be doing. And in regard to mixing, I have these containers here, right? So what I'll do is I'll use this sort of as a measure and I'll fill, what I'm trying to achieve is like one part of the Hikari Gold to every two parts of this. So suppose I fill this up two times, dump it in here, then I fill it up with this one time and then dump it in here. And that would be the ratio. And like I said, I'll feed this mixture about twice a week, once a week at the very least. And then once a week, they'll get some of this and they will be happy as can be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing and I'll be back with a shot of the turtles enjoying their, their new uh, menu items. Be right back. As you can see, we have our little mixture in the container. I'm just gonna grab just a small amount because they did. She did eat a little early. And as you can see, she's ready. She knows it's, she knows it's about to go down. So we're gonna get a good look at her and see how, what happens here. She'll gather up a bunch of pellets in her mouth until she can't fit anymore and like swallow all of them down at one time. Getting very efficient with the pellet eating. And then the fish go crazy. So yeah, she'll go through every square inch of the tank and find every pellet one by one. And make short work. I didn't really give that much because, like I said, she already ate, but I made sure, you know, to save a little room for the new stuff. Now I'm going to head on over to the narrow bridge musk and see how he's feeling. Now we're by this guy, and um, he doesn't look like he can, he can eat. Just got to get his attention because he doesn't, he's not as personable as the, uh, the Mexican musk. Let's see what he thinks. I'll in a few. See if he even if he is even interested right now. I've been feeding him a lot of sinking pellets. Oh, this glare is killing me. I've been feeding him a lot of sinking pellets, so he's kind of get gotten used to the, like diving when he smells food. But he does, you know, he definitely does eat anything out there on here.
Get up, there's food up there. You know it. Get up there. He's thinking about it. Come on, man, you're making me look bad. You're a narrow bridge musk. You're supposed to go crazy on this food. He's definitely thinking about it, but. Maybe he's not willing to perform for the camera today. It's all good. Either way, or maybe he's not he's just not that hungry because again, I did feed all of them already. And don't mind that noise, that's just the wind blowing my shades. But, yeah, we're not gonna get anything out of him today. Except maybe a cool side shot. But like I said, I highly recommend it for any uh, species of turtle that uh, requires a lot of protein, any carnivorous turtle. Your Missouri, uh, Missouri crocodile pellets, your Harkari uh, Koi Gold, and definitely uh, really any Omega-1 product. But if you're looking for something that packs a, a nutrient-dense pellet, you know, you're getting all sorts of vitamins, that are really necessary for the animal's development and you're definitely getting the wheat germ and the, the, the quality ingredients with the fresh seafood and everything so definitely go with an omega-1 product and as he finally decides to swim towards the surface and possibly get a bite to eat yeah there he goes he sees it and yeah, he definitely goes full force every every strike. Pellet or no pellet. Yeah, we're not gonna get a good shot. Unlike the uh, Mexican musk, he tends to sort of chew the bigger pellets. And you can see from the, the rear that he's gotten quite chunky. So there it is. Turtles enjoying their pellets. So, if you like the content I'm putting out, if you're enjoying the turtles, if you're rocking with the videos, definitely leave that thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing at the Turtle Essence on Instagram. Definitely follow me there because you're gonna see things there first before I ever, uh, before they ever make it to YouTube. And with all that being said, until the next time, and with all the noise in the background, happy reptile keeping. Peace.